Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is another episode of Kareem in the Morning. Okay. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be here yet again, right here, right now, on another episode of Kareem in the Morning. I'm Kareem. And let me just go ahead and bring some of these things up. They have done so much when it comes to StreamYard, I'll tell you, man. Okay. So, there you go. All right. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I haven't been here in a long time but i'm here yet again and uh as you guys can see in the background breaking news is always breaking news when it comes to kareem in the morning because it's just so much to talk about especially in such a little time but i'm gonna try to compact and put everything into you know play all right so um where do we start right here right now first of all let me just go ahead and bring out the disclosures this channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13 and get into disclaimer please get into it read it read it read it well okay okay so i am here and I do want to uh, go ahead and start off with some breaking news that I have uh, just received from Social Media Network. Let me just go ahead and bring up the. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up the blog page, and then let me just go ahead and switch it over. Okay, so I did receive some information. Uh, over the week about the infamous cookie tookie, okay, Samantha James. Now, if you guys recall, uh, I did a story about Samantha James two years ago where she went on to the Armad Wagon show and started allegedly saying things about T.S. Madison and you know two years later now gotten the news that samantha james aka cookie tookie has died at the age of 44. okay so here you can see cookie tookie right her I'm just go ahead and read you this is all on the blog page you guys can go up on the blog page and read this as well tstos news has just learned that youtuber influence Samantha James from Philadelphia has passed away on December 3rd, 2022 from congested heart failure, right? Uh, at a Los Angeles hospital at the age of 44. Samantha James, Samantha James was a black transgender at, known as Miss Cookie Tookie, born in Philadelphia in 1978. Miss James was best known for her advocacy and social media follow. From this, she became a YouTube star. And, you know, all the things that she's done, people posted online. I mean, she wasn't really afraid to turn on the camera and speak her mind. But I can tell you that uh, Miss James graduated from the university's high school and later went on to uh, um, America Academy McAllister Institution of Funeral Science. And Ms. James had a big follow on social media, Instagram with 24,000 followers. There is a GoFundMe button that you guys can donate. A GoFundMe has set up by her fans and supporters to help raise money for her and her funeral expenses. Now I can tell you guys, um, this is what everybody have, you know, I don't know if people were like ready for this or they just was expecting it, 
but I can say that just by looking at her YouTube videos and just videos all on social media, this lady was out of control. She was out of control. This is my opinion. This lady was out of control. She had a mouth like a sailor. She just didn't really care about certain things that people, you know, I, I guess did or what people thought about her. She she reminded me of when T.S. Madison, now two different people, okay? T.S. Madison, uh, when I say, when I, when I use reminder, I'm only going to remind with the whole thing, is it on? Okay, is this bitch recording? That's what I'm going to remind. That's what what when I say remind me of T.S. Madison, that's what this reminds me of. She always turned on the camera. Samantha James always turned on the camera. And when she turned on the camera, she didn't really care about basically what came out of her mouth because people was ready for anything and everything that she had to offer. Okay. Uh, they definitely, definitely, you know, they agreed to disagree, okay? But I can tell you that there are some last moment videos on social media that she posted, talking about Mr. Samantha James, the late Samantha James, that she posted on social media and she was in a hospital and basically she was talking about how her legs were swollen and how you know uh she she don't think she's gonna get a proper burial or a funeral and then uh she was pretty up pretty much upset because she wanted to be seen as soon as possible because she came in by ambulance and she was having congestive heart failure she was having problems breathing her chest was hurting and it she, she wanted to know why she was sitting in the hallway in a wheelchair and the nurses and doctors you can hear in the background say that there's no beds available so she was saying that she has congested heart failure so i'm assuming that when she passed uh that was probably the cause of her death okay but 44 is a young age i just turned 41 okay 44 is a young age and I can tell you that a lot of her fans is going to miss her, okay? And, you know, that's that's cookie cookie for you. All right, moving right along. If you guys uh, recall, on December 1st was World AIDS Day. And World AIDS Day is celebrated not only in this country, but around the world internationally. So domestically and internationally, World AIDS Day is, uh, you know, commenced around the whole world. So I just want to take the time out to read this information from the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T blog page in honor of World AIDS Day. It basically should be the whole month or the whole year, okay? Because people are getting effect, infected and dying from the disease, but also people are living. Let's get into the facts. As of 2020, as of 2020, AIDS have killed 36.3 million people worldwide. An estimate of 37.7 million people are living with HIV, making it one of the most important global pandemic in recorded history, according to social media news. Thanks to recent improved access to antiviral treatment in many regime, regions of the world, the death rate from AIDS epidemic has decreased from 64% since it peaked in 2004. Special thanks to all AIDS research and society for bringing awareness to the communities with treatment and education program, proper Medicare and support. Special thanks to National Institution of Health, which is NIH, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, which is HHS, and the CDC, which is Center Disease Control, and other health clinics and institutions who went far and beyond the call of treatment. Thank you. 
okay? So, okay, all right, so um, this is, uh, this right here is something that reflect and it, it gives us positive news because if you look at it back then, a lot of people were dying from the AIDS epidemic. And people were going from HIV, human deficiency virus, to AIDS, acquired immunity deficiency syndrome, just like that. And the medicines that they had back then, everybody had like medicine, medicine, medicine. It was bottle, pill, 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 pill. pill. But now, where it says the antivirus, the antivirus, it, it has a pill where it has a, a cocktail that can suppress it. And if a person, you know, change their habits and their ways and their lifestyle and, you know, take care of themselves and take their medicine as, 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 as prescribed by a doctor, then you can live a long and healthy life, okay, with HIV and AIDS, okay? So this was honor of World AIDS Day. All right, next. Also, I want to bring up this. So on the 1st of December, my friend, the late Tim Jermaine Williams, passed away. And every year, the Omega Studio News, me, and everybody else take the time to honor and reflect on his life and legacy. Okay, so let's get into it. Eighth, happy eighth year anniversary to the late Tim Jermaine Williams, rest in peace. Happy eighth anniversary, Tim, you are gone, but never forgotten. You are missed, but always loved. You are not with us, but we can feel your spirit on this day. We thank you and all the memories is a keepsake from which we will never part. God has you in his arms, and we have you in our hearts. We miss you, Tim, okay? Definitely, definitely always honor my friend, my late friend, late Tim Jermaine Williams, because he was a good person to me, and I'm going to miss him. So that's why I want to take this time to honor him and represent him on this day. Okay. And and again, all these stories, you guys could go onto the blog page and you guys can see it and engage into it. Okay. And now let me just go into this. Now, December, December of 2022 makes eight years that the Omega Studio News have been active, foundated back in 2014. So let's go ahead and get into this. So if you guys know that there has been a lot that has been created from the Omega Studio News, such as Talk Show T, Radio 911, The Session, uh, Live at 9, Sheeny, Sunday, House of Workout, what I see, you see, what's going on, what's going on America, it was what's going on America, what's going on America, jury review, and also Ghetto Kitchen Man. So happy anniversary to the Omega Studio News for the eighth year, the eighth year in a row to be honored yet again. Let us always remember that teamwork makes dream work comes true. Let us keep on inspiring others and make the journey glamorous. Omega Studio News have taken us to a whole new height with all new successes in these years, creating the platform in just eight years with Omega Studio News has been amazing. Mr. Kareem Clemens dedicated and created, creatively can only be matched with the unquenching thirst for success. We really just started with one and now many platforms with talents and 
creativity. Mr. Kareem Clemens, leadership and compassion in Omega Studio News, thank you for being the stronger pillar. Thank you for everything by posting in social media and YouTube gaming. Your satisfaction is what motivates us cyber friends to continuously follow you in blogging and social media world. You bring smiles to our, our faces and your satisfaction matters to us all. Happy eighth anniversary of Mega Studio News. Special thanks to all cyber friends, including you here on Kareem in the Morning. Totally forgot Kareem in the Morning. This is definitely something that was created under. And all the platforms for making this happen. Cheers to the future achievement and past glories. Okay, so yes. This month marks eighth, the eighth year of Omega Studio News. And again, from all the platform. Now, I'm fairly kind of upset because the Pretty Bitch Club was my, but however, we had to, uh, well, it wasn't we. Social media, uh, basically, we could have kept it. However, we had to change the name. I was trying to get the information from Princess Diamond. Uh, However, I don't think that she had the information. So what Facebook did, they went on and, and got rid of the page because of the word. Okay, so we don't have it anymore. But we do have the group page, which is uh, still under Cali LLC, but it's TSCOS News slash Cali LLC, which you guys can find that on social media, which is Facebook group page. All right. And all these stories again, yet again, is on the blog page right here, right now. Welcome back. All right, so I have some more information to give you guys. So if you guys are fans of Kareem Clemens YouTube gaming, you guys can go and check out this, which is now has posted episodes to TST TV on YouTube. And that is the Kareem Clemens YouTube gaming channel for all my YouTube gamers and gamers out there in the world across the land. Uh, Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is hitting the airways. We have episodes, which is going down on the 7th on TST TV. But if you guys don't have YouTube and you don't feel like going to YouTube and dealing with all the ads and stuff, uh, which I would actually, which I would actually uh, say to you that if you, the only way that I would want people to go to the blog page is because, you know, it, it shows the video right here, okay? It shows the video right here. You guys can see it without no interruption. However, if you want to go to TSC TV YouTube page, you guys can go there and join the chat because everybody be chatting it up. They'll be de definitely chatting about what's going on in the video, what's taking place. We definitely want to say big ups to TSC TV for allowing us to stream on their page. The YouTube gaming. And I definitely, definitely want to say to you guys, thank you guys so much for your contribute, your likes, your views for the GTA 5 series that went down on TST TV. And also, I want to say thank you for your views, your likes, and your comments for the Project High Rise series that just ended. Now, that's a secret, okay? That's a secret. I was supposed to say that. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to say that. Okay. Um, yeah. So 
All right, so what, let me just go ahead and talk. I, I wasn't supposed to say that, but um, it's a secret. Yes, Project High Rise ended secretly, okay? So what happened was, hold on, bring me up, bring me up, bring me up. So what happened was, we went on with a couple of episodes with Project High Rise. Now, TSD was asking for some more episodes because they have their own thing. They want to know what's going on. Are you going to send some more episodes? So what I did was I had episodes and we kind of told the people that we were going to uh, end it because we didn't really know what was going to take place next. And we didn't know if it was going to be Project Hos Hospital or was it going to be Prison Architect or was it going to be Democracy 4 or uh, X-Plane 11? And they do have X-Plane 12 too. So we didn't really know which one was going to fit into the next series for TST TV. So now we have decided to put in Democracy 4, which I tell you guys going to love this series okay the premiere goes down on every wednesday at 5 p.m on tst tv again if you guys are not linked to youtube just go over to the blog page just go straight to the blog page right here right now and you guys can see it all all right just press it and it tells you it premieres in 31 hours on december 7th at 5 p.m okay Oh, I think this is a time to uh, word from our sponsors. Okay, guys, again, welcome to Kareem in the morning, hashtag Kareem in the morning. I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys this. Okay, so Kareem in the morning uh, is sponsored by the Omega Studio News and hosted. Kareem in the morning is hosted by, uh, sponsored by Omega Studio News, House of Workout, which is how Talk Show T and TST TV. This is social media news and breaking news. So at this time, I do want to say uh, with this part on this part here, I do want to say this important news. Okay, so if you guys are not following or have followed this news, I do want to say that Daryl Brooks, okay, he don't want to be called that, but I have a lot. To really say it. Hopefully, I can put this all in play, like right here. Okay. Look, man, this is a man who actually drove his car through a parade and and killed six people and injured dozens of people. Okay. Then after that happened, a year just passed. November twenty uh, first just passed. And I can tell you that this man fired his defense, okay? He literally fired his defense, and he decided to represent himself. When he represented himself, they always say that when you have represent yourself, you have a fool for a client. So I don't know when a person is facing uh, 96 counts, in, 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 in life sentences and all this other stuff, major homicide and all this, I think you probably want to at least have an attorney and 
complete insanity so you don't have to go to a hospital, uh, jail, you can go to a hospital, at least something, a defense of something. Okay, this man ain't had nothing. I watched this man uh, represent himself, and I can tell you that, yes, he was the fool, and he definitely was the client. So it really put in, and I can tell you at the end, the fool received six consecutive life sentences plus more than 700 additional years in prison in what is known as the Waukesha Christmas Parade Attack. Now, I'm not going to spend uh, no more time on this as much as the jury came back under like, what, an hour, or under 30 minutes with a guilty verdict and convicted this man. This man represented himself. It's all on YouTube. I can tell you this man did not know what he was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. I don't know if he was nervous. I don't know if he was scared. He didn't want to uh, be named Durham Brooks. He didn't want to uh, certain things. He didn't want in a courtroom. He didn't. He kept, um, you know, talking out of turn and disobeying and not following rules and regulations. I'm telling you, man. And, hold on. And then there's more. He wanted to ask for an appeal. And then on his appeal process, he sends a note to the judge asking, can he have an attorney do the appeal process for him? So why would you want the attorney to do the appeal process for you when you didn't want an attorney to represent you in the courtroom? Now, when a, a lawyer does the appeal process, I'm pretty sure he or she is going to have to go through all nook and cranny of testimonies that was given from the prosecutor side and from his side. What the judge said and everything that was on record. Okay, that's a lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of information that this he or she of his attorney must go through. Now, it would have been smart to have an attorney present with you if he thought this and have him in the back and then have you in the front. So you guys could, like, you could be uh, presenting a case and he could just be there just giving you, you know, factors and tips. Now, I can understand that. But he didn't have nobody. It was just him. You understand? And then this man just did poor. He did poor on his representation. He did poor on questioning people. And he did poor in, you know, a, a talking to the judge and, and trying to, you know, he, his favorite word was uh, uh, grounds. That was his favorite word. Uh, objection. Uh, his favorite word was, um, you know, and when I say favorite words, those words, grounds and objection and uh, object, I don't want to be called. This is things that he was shouting out in the courtroom and to the point where this man was so outrageous and just his behavior was just not conducted fairly in that court, they had to remove him to another courtroom. It's crazy. So you guys can go on social media and y'all can read about this because I think that if a person commits a crime, if a person commits a crime and they want to represent themselves, then you basically want to, I should leave that off. Basically, I actually bring this one up. Basically, you should want to have an attorney to represent you for your case. All right. So, boom. Well, and also, too, I do want to say that uh, I haven't put it out there that I'll say here. Also, within that in this short time over the, uh, the course of trials, I can tell you that Cruz the guy who was responsible for killing 17 people at Mar Marjorie Douglas High School in Florida, okay, on Valentine's Day, he was sentenced to life. 
Now, I know a lot of people was pissed off because he didn't get the death penalty. And the reason why they say he didn't get the death penalty is because the jury was not unanimous on the death penalty. Okay, they wanted to focus on life. But you guys can go on social media and y'all can look at all the stories on Cruz and the testimony that the family has delivered to them. Now, real quick, people, the difference between the testimony that they gave before and the testimony that they gave now, the testimony that they give now, baby, I tell you these words, Lord Jesus is a fire, okay? They had to control themselves before because he wasn't convicted after pleading guilty for the charge. Uh, he wasn't co uh, convicted in the penalty phase by the grand jury yet. So the families had to uh, basically follow protocols and talk about their loved one, but they couldn't say certain things. They couldn't say certain words. They had they couldn't speak their mind, honey. But when the jury came back and found him guilty, and he was sentenced to life in jail, those the families came up one by one, and they spoke to this man to the point where. I'm pretty sure right now he is still thinking about those words because they was like, you will remember me, especially the people that he shot. You will remember me, okay, and what you did. And I really hope and pray that on any every anniversary that they sit this man in a room with a videotape and show him every face that he did kill take away and injured at that school every second on that day 24 hours he should be able to sit there in that room to see it that should be his consequences but i don't know part of his consequences but licenses without no possibility of parole just like brooks and all other people you know they put on suicide watch they're not in general population because they're high profile cases and it is what it is. We just have to move on to the next case and know that the person who think about committing a crime, they should really, really think twice. Because I'm telling you, man, pull me up. I'm telling you, if you don't think twice of what you're doing, you're gonna wind up like these fools. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the time that I have right here, right now on Kareem in the Morning. I want to thank you guys for being here. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Bye.